really, really cool. Yes, that's that's the only reason I really wanted to film. Lumberjack. Lumberjack. You would look so hot with an axe. Swinging it, chopping wood. So this is our operating table. What's happening? Woo! Oh, honey, okay, I think I have to pause the video for a second. <laughs> Come with me into my chambers. Okay, one hour later, here we are. <laughs> I love you. I love you. So, beautiful. so are you handsome. <laughs> Wait, do that again. That was funny. <laughs> you make me happy. <laughs> Okay, so this is magic, magic uh, potion, magic. This is magic right here. Mm. This is magic sauce. Magic sauce. Of that's the venue. It. Will you pass me a scissors, please? You see a scissors on there? Ah, oh, there they are. I see them right there. Thank you. Kind of caught the sheet in the middle. I'm gonna bring this up to the edge and let gravity be my third hand. There's magic right there. Today, in arts and crafts, kids, we're making rivets! Yay! Yay! Now what are these rivets used for? You might ask. Ooh, magic. Gusset plating. So, look at the box and let's look at the rough order of magnitude here. Ooh, what's there? Magic stuff. Wow. So every single every single one of these will end up getting beautiful custom made riveted gusset. And just think today if you order now you'll get four hundred and five thousand other gusseted rivets exactly like this one shipped to you at no extra handling or shipping charge. And wait, call now, call and now, we'll include... And you will include the double stick backing. <laughs> you too right. can be a proud recipient of a gusseted, riveted, laced, steel member. <laughs> it's very tricky using that slice-someter. Yeah, that's why you don't want to make these plates like too big and too heavy. and Because then you'll end up with this pain in the butt. Trying to get this thing to cut through all of our layers. Layers of happiness. Ah! Happy layers. Ah! Are we getting anywhere with these? Let's take a look, see. Let's test them out, shall Let's we? Let's test one out. This looks like it's centered pretty good from here mm -hmm. to here. Okay, so I'm gonna throw one down on one of our gusset plates because we have them. So we just knocked off any uh, oxidizing layers, which is gonna impede our stickiness. It's kind of like prepping and priming a nail for product application. There you go. Yeah, it's applying um, similar sciences mm -hmm. from nails to this. You know what's really cool about what we do is. Um, mm. You do artwork on nails, yeah. and I do artwork with metal. Yes, you do. It's really so it's awesome. Center this here. So I'm gonna stick this on. Really kind of centering it, not on the piece itself as geometry, but I'm centering it up this mm -hmm. piece. Lining it up. Mm -hmm. so my plan at this point because I really don't know what I'm doing. Everything is just any best guess. So I'm thinking at this point I need to trim this. I'm going to try. I can't. 
kniff. Get a kniff. Translation knife. Make sure it's a sharp one. <laughs> Test it out. It isn't sharp, baby. No, can you take me to the hospital? Adult supervision required. If yeah. Using such knife. <laughs> So to get it that is awesome. at the point of being like the cat's meow, we'll have to go over here to the wall of many Many, many wonders. Many, the wall of the wall of wonders. That's only part of it. Wall of wonders. And then um at mainlinebridges.com. And then file in. This is what I call the buffing and filing section. The finishing section of the nails, in this case, the gussets. Make sure there's no sharp edges. A lot of people get nervous for that kind of thing. Getting a that close to your fingers can be an unhealthy decision. I don't know if people like look at me like, you're not wearing any safety glasses. It's like, well, they're on your head. I know, that's a, so, it's such a lame <laughs> thing to have. They look but better see, on your head. When you put these on, they're cloudy. I can't see. So when I get this close to my fingers with cloudy and scratched and ugly glasses that distort my vision, I actually create more of a risk for myself because I'm impeding my vision. When I do know that scientifically that the centrifugal force of this grinder is sending material in every other, not every other, but in a directional force. So I know that if I sand this piece of metal, I'm gonna send junk any way I want. It's kind of like aiming a sparkler. <laughs> I'm gonna gotta trim this other gusset down a little bit, but uh, this one up here. I'm gonna trim that down. Still, that is really awesome. I'm gonna trim that down. I'm gonna trim this down. This so the scribe, you remember the scribe that. that I lost that I really liked? The seven dollar piece of scribing? Yes. This is what I have to do because I lost that tool. The tool just fell out. Hmm. How does that even happen? Maybe it was screwed on and Probably screwed itself. See that scribe? I wouldn't have had to do this on me because the scribe is sharp. So let me just see what that does there. See that line? Can you see it mm -hmm. in the oh, yes, I can see certain it. light? Yep. That line makes things more accurate. It's for the human eye. This is the finished product. Should I put it in there like how, how nice and 
This is the accuracy that I... Oh, I can't even get it out. <laughs> oh, no. Now it's in there for really good. It's, it was just... It's cut. I'm very proud of this. I cut this thing so tight and so... Precise. Accurate, precise that when you preassemble... It just snap in. Line it up to the size you need and voila. Very nice. Well, thank you for today's lesson, MainlineBridges.com. We'll see you on our next episode. Bye! Camera shy!